<laughs> Welcome to my laboratory, I'm Dr. Screams, and today we're testing the hypothesis, is Sinbad Shazam real? Is it a movie from an alternate universe? Is it something that never existed in the first place? Have people actually seen Shazam? Maybe. A lot of you truly believe you've watched this 90s oddity starring iconic stand-up comedian Sinbad. How can so many of you people be wrong? If this movie actually did exist, what happened to it? Did Sinbad succeed in destroying every copy known to man? Was it a military psyop? Or are people simply confusing Shazam for that other 90s genie movie Kazam starring NBA all-star Shaquille O'Neal? Today we dig in and uncover the truth behind one of the greatest movie mysteries of our time. You'll want to stick around to the end because we have have an exclusive interview with Mushy from Mushy's Movie Minute. He claims to have actually seen Shazam. Is he telling the truth? Is he making it up? We're going to find out. So grab your magic carpet, put some fresh batteries in your boombox, and fly with me into an alternate universe where Shazam was a box office hit. Or was it? Now some of you may be asking, what is Sinbad Shazam? Don't confuse it with the recent DC movie starring Zachary Levi as a mystically empowered superhero, no. Shazam, spelled with three A's, is a sci-fi family comedy with a runtime of 94 minutes. Different world star Sinbad is a bumbling genie accidentally summoned by two siblings, a brother and sister, who wish for their widowed father to find true love once again. Or at least that's what some people claim. Much like Bigfoot, absolutely zero evidence exists to prove this movie is real. Even though a growing number of concerned individuals insist they remember watching Shazam as a kid, none of them still own it on VHS, there are no posters or trailers to be found anywhere. Not a single frame of footage has ever been on Earth. Note taking time, there will be a quiz later. Hey, wake up over there. I know you're gonna fail. You haven't been paying attention to the class this whole time. There is lost media like Gary Coleman's made for TV teenage arsonist movie playing with fire, which has seemingly fallen off the face of the planet. But we can still find commercials, press photos, and TV guide advertisements proving that it did exist at some point in the recent past. With Sinbad Shazam, there is absolutely nothing. Even the synopsis is cobbled together from various first-hand accounts like your average Mothman encounter. Hey, somebody get Richard Gere on the phone. Over the years, plot details have shifted and mutated depending on who is recalling them. But the basic story elements have remained the same. Sinbad is a genie in a bottle and depending on who you ask, Jonathan Taylor Thomas and Kirsten Dunst, or maybe Ariana Richards, play the siblings who go hunting for a new mom. It was a Disney movie, maybe? And it all ended at a big pool party, just like A Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Weird. So what really happened, and why do so many people truly believe they've watched Sinbad Shazam at some point in the not-too-distant past? Most people blame the Mandela Effect. What is that, you ask? Yo, you in the back, I see your hand raised. You don't know what the Mandela Effect is? Come on, what have you been, living under a rock? I'm gonna explain what the Mandela Effect is. Don't freak out. I know a lot of you know, but we got a clue in these other lunch bellies. The Mandela Effect refers to a situation wherein a large mass of people believe an event occurred when it actually did not. Or think a movie line has changed when it never has. Or remember a movie that has been wiped clean off the planet when it didn't actually exist in the first place. Or did it? I think I just shifted. The Mandela Effect phenomenon was coined by Fiona Broom in 2009 and originates from those who remember Nelson Mandela passing away in prison sometime in the mid-90s, when in actuality he passed away in 2013 as a free man. Many blame the Large Hadron Collider at CERN for the Mandela Effect, claiming the powerful particle accelerator has smashed enough atoms to shift some of us into an alternate timeline, where things are just a little bit different. Get low to the sky. Time to bust out the old calculator and do some math. CERN Run 1 happened September 10th, 2008, my birthday, and it was the following year in 2009 that Sinbad first remembers fans discussing his Shazam movie and how it mysteriously disappeared from the timeline. Shazam is believed to have been released sometime in the mid-90s, between 1994 and 1996, around the same time that a lot of people believe Nelson Mandela passed away. Is it just a wild coincidence that less than a year after the Super Collider got turned on, well, Shazam disappeared and Nelson Mandela was still alive? Giving us two of the most popular and widely known Mandela effects. Coincidence or not? The most popular Shazam theory up until this point is that it was disappeared by CERN experiments, the Hadron Collider and the Mandela Effect, which sounds like a great sci-fi story for a Dr. Screams book. 
But come on, do you really believe that? A lot of theorists, physicists, and astrophysicists do believe in the concept of a multiverse, that we're all living in a matrix. But there isn't any solid proof we've slipped into an alternate timeline where the Berenstein Bears is spelled differently now and the Fruit of the Loom cornucopia has gone poof into thin air. Non-believers have a far less exciting and way less fun explanation for the Shazam phenomenon. And that, my friends, is called a bad memory. The most plausible explanation for Shazam is a mass false memory shared by kids of the 90s. Those kids are most likely mistaking the family comedy for another very similar movie called Kazam starring friendly giant Shaquille O'Neal. In that box office bomb, Shaq plays a genie accidentally freed from his boombox by a young boy named Max whose one wish is to reconnect with his estranged father. Of course, the obvious answer is that people are confusing Shazam with Kazam. Ah, but it is not that simple. There are those who insist they remember seeing both Kazam and Shazam and that they are distinctly different things. Two movies with a similar high concept arriving in theaters around the same time? It's nothing new, it's what's referred to in Hollywood as twin films. Popular 90s examples include Dante's Peak and Volcano or Deep Impact and Armageddon. The list is wide and deep. You can check out our video about twin films somewhere over here. I don't know, click around and you'll find it. Just click everywhere. Just click. There is no proof that Shazam and Kazam are twin films. But there is another explanation. Shazam true believers are most likely conflating three different family movies, Milk Money from 1994, House Guest from 1995, and the previously mentioned Kazam from 1996. Imagine some kid had all three of these movies in their bedroom and watched them all summer long in 1996. Now years later, they've all morphed into Shazam inside this young, fragile mind. You've got a genie in one, Sinbad in the other, and kids using their milk money to find their dad true love in what might be the best movie of the bunch. All Shazam plot threads are accounted for in these three movies. Mystery solved. Or is it? What if Shazam did exist in an alternate timeline and the Mandela effect demorphed it into these three different movies? Mind blown. Mystery solved. Get out of the video store, chump. Sorry, sorry class, sorry, getting off track. The insisted existence of Shazam can also be blamed on Sinbad himself. Oh yes it can. It's theorized that people think they remember Shazam simply because Sinbad sounds like he should have starred in a genie movie. The stand-up comedian was known for his flamboyant style in the 1980s and 90s. He definitely wasn't against wearing MC Hammer style genie pants on stage. And he had a flourishing movie career that catered to kids of that era. Do you guys hear those rats in here? I heard rats scuttling around. What was that? Oh man. Scrumps forgot to buy the mousetraps. I'm gonna have to create my own. House Guest arrived in 1995 around the time Shazam was supposedly made, and it featured the star interacting with kids. The story of a con man crashing a stranger's home to hide from the mob falls in line with some of the story elements found in Shaq's Kazam. So it's easy to swirl these two together. Then in 1996, Sinbad starred in First Kid where he plays a secret service agent protecting and mentoring the president's 13-year-old son. Kazam elements of which are also woven into its DNA. That same year, Sinbad starred in the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie Jingle All the Way, and in 1998, he was featured in Nickelodeon's Good Burger. The guy was omnipresent throughout many 90s childhoods, though perhaps not in the most memorable of movies. It was also between 1994 and 1996 that a lot of people first got internet in their homes. So they were inundated with a lot of fast moving information, well, as fast moving as dial up could be. And it was literally invading their eyeballs. Image intake tripled, perhaps quadrupled, the average brain couldn't take it. So yeah, it's not hard for impressionable young minds to get all this stuff mixed up in their head. As mentioned, it wasn't until 2009 that Sinbad himself first heard about the Shazam phenomenon. He confirmed many times he'd never shot a movie called Shazam, and agreed with the idea that 90s kids were simply confusing Shazam with Kazam and a whole lot of other stuff from that era. It didn't help that the Necessary Roughness star had hosted a Sinbad the Sailor marathon on TNT in the 90s, dressed as a genie no less. That's just one more reason why people associate him with the genie in a bottle character. And a trailer for Shaq's Kazam was included on some of these VHS copies of First Kid. We can definitely see how it all gets a little confusing. 
Sinbad did eventually get tired of all the denial and started to play into the notion that perhaps his Shazam movie actually did exist, which has only compacted the fact across a lot of impressionable minds. That's one of the biggest reasons why we have so many people insisting it is real today. Sinbad, perhaps against his better judgment, trolled fans in one infamous interview from 2018 on radio station New Jersey 101.5. In that interview, he admits doing Shazam for crack money, shocking because he was known as a clean, family-friendly comedian in the 90s. Sinbad claims Shazam bombed because he had no real-life genie skills. He called the experience a life lesson. He then admits it took a lot of government intervention to get all those VHS tapes out of homes and video stores. Sinbad jokes that he was ex-Special Forces in the military, and he used mind control tactics to get the tape away from people. Sinbad then lets us in on a little secret. There are three tapes out in the wild that he could not find. And he threatens that whoever has them. Hope it's not you, Mom. Apologizing to those who unknowingly wound up on his hit list. It's a short list, but if you're on it, he promises to send an assassin to your house. Sinbad delivered this confession with a straight face, tongue planted firmly in cheek. An obvious joke, right? Not so fast. A lot of people believed him. Sinbad is clearly being sarcastic, but that fact is boom, flown over a lot of heads. Further complicating matters? The 2017 April Fool's joke pulled by College Humor was Sinbad's full cooperation. They created La Shazam footage presenting it as the real deal. Like Sinbad's ironic confession, a lot of folks took this at face value and still to this day believe the footage is real, even though it is clearly intended to be a joke. Not helping things along are all those pranksters out there planting fake copies of Shazam in thrift stores for TikTok videos or for you to find. Who does that? Not me. With so many people confusing the actual movie Kazam for the non-existent Shazam, you might wonder what Shaquille thinks about all of this. Surely he'd remember there was another genie movie out there competing for his box office dollar. He's an NBA champion. His whole life is rivalries. Well, guess what? He doesn't remember hearing about Shazam back in the 90s and he's barely aware of it now. Shaq lives in a completely different world than you and I. Of course he's never heard of Shazam. Sam. But Shaq isn't against the idea of two competing genie movies. In fact, he wants to shatter the space-time continuum by starring in an Avenger-style genie team-up movie that brings Shazam and Kazam into the same universe. Maybe even Big Willy can come along for the ride. Along with all this brouhaha, there are plenty of accounts of people remembering Shazam across social media. One guy claims to have purchased the VHS tape for his uncle's video store and vividly remembers watching the tape dozens of times for damages, renting it out, stocking it on the shelf, and rewinding it at checkout. He's 100% sure the movie was not Kazam, which he also vividly remembers as its own thing. What are we to take from all of this? Maybe some of you are a little kookaroo chicken, or maybe some of us are actually living in an alternate timeline. And now, our exclusive interview with Mushy from Mushy's Movie Minute. Mushy, have you actually seen Shazam? I've seen it. There's a man that's seen Shazam for himself. Should we believe his truth? Is his brain full of Cracker Jacks? Is Mushy from an alternate universe? Maybe. I mean, look at the guy. The big question everyone wants to know, is Sinbad Shazam real? Is it real or is it not? In all likelihood, Shazam is a shared false memory. The movie doesn't exist, hasn't existed, and maybe never will exist unless Disney Plus calls up Sinbad and they decide to make it a reality. That isn't happening yet, but we don't want to fully doubt that perhaps some of us are living in an alternate universe. You know who you are. Until the next time, you can catch us down at Savers digging through the VHS tapes hoping to find one of those three Shazam copies that Sinbad insists is still out there. And don't worry, we'll also be keeping our eyes open for any assassins. Goodbye.